So during and after the pandemic, we saw a lot more clients who had started self-employed businesses. And one of the things that anybody who's self-employed is most concerned about is, am I getting all my deductions? And so we want to help people get their deductions. But there are two that are of great interest to people that have a little bit of danger in them. And the first one is the auto mileage deduction. The IRS requirements to take the auto mileage deduction are very specific in terms of date, time, where you started, where you ended, how many miles, who it was, what the, what the purpose was. And I will tell you that, that many people who start out with the best of intentions to keep all this information on paper just can't keep up with it. And so one of the things we recommend is that you use an app and it doesn't matter what kind of a phone you have, there are apps where they will automatically log your drives and then at the end of the day, the end of the week, or even the end of the month, you can go through and say, oh, this was personal, this was business. It will develop the documentation and, and the one missing piece about who you saw is something that is very easy to fill in if needed because you'll have the address that you went to. And hopefully if you have the address, you'll know who lives there. Uh, the second thing is the home office deduction. This is one I hear a lot of people talk about because they think that this is going to be huge money for them. There's a trap. That trap is the word exclusive. Or you might hear it described as dedicated. Is the space dedicated to your business? And so a lot of people think, well, dedicated, yeah, 98% of the time, 90% of the time, it's dedicated to the business. Dedicated, also meaning exclusive, means that it's 100%. So let's imagine that I'm standing here today in a room that has an air hockey table and a television in it. Well, those two things are basically disqualifying because there's not a thing in the world that makes that air hockey table necessary to shooting this video. So I would just urge caution. And if you have questions, please contact us at taxsimplicity.net. If you reach out, I promise I will call you back.